I was pretty excited about our flight today, flying with Steve again at the TBM 850. Look what we got to deal with today. Typical with South Florida weather, thunderstorms lined our path all the way back to Opalaca. We had the TBM up here in Pompano for maintenance, and now we were trying to beat the storms back to Opalaca. The race was now on to beat those big, gray, black-looking clouds off to our west. We were going to fly east towards the shoreline where it's nice and clear and fly south and then turn back in west towards Opalaka. Hopefully we get to Opalaka before the storm. towards the shoreline eastbound was great visibility was incredible but as we turn southbound at 500 feet you can now see how huge the storm really was and we could see electrical activity things were great as we flew southbound over the shoreline at 500 feet we transitioned for Lauderdale uh, Airport airspace and headed towards Opalaka, but as we made our turn to the west, we could see that the thunderstorms were moving way faster than we expected. We still continued on to see how far we could get. Maybe we could still get into Opalaka. As we continued west and got closer to the shoreline, it was obvious the storms were over Opalaka, and Opalaka was actually now IFR and because of the electrical activity the airport was closed so we were denied entry into Opalaka's airspace. We had planned that if we couldn't get into Opalaka we would either go to Tamiami or go back to Fort Lauderdale Executive. Because of the way the thunderstorm was moving we decided to get back to Fort Lauderdale Executive. It was closer. Looking at the radar, you can see that the weather was intensifying and moving quickly. Looking at the window, you can really see the electrical activity and the intensity of the storm. The race was on now to get back to Fort Lauderdale Executive, which was right off the our nose. approaching the airport before the storm. But because of the approaching storm, the winds had picked up and was now gusting to 26 knots. Thankfully, it was all straight down the runway.
did a great job with the landing. It was great to be on the ground again, and we landed just in time. The storm was moving in very quickly. We were going to sit here at Fort Lauderdale Executive at Banyan Aviation until it passed. is how it's done. When you don't can't get to where you're going. Weather just went south on us, and uh, we had to scoot in here to FXC. Uh, weather cleared up a little bit. We're getting ready to go back out. Opalaka, FXC to OPF. Yeah, sure, sure. I'm cleared up a little bit. Tower, November 8, 5, 1, 10, Bravo, holding short 3-1. Number 1, Bravo, runway 3-1, fly heading 3-1-0, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 3-1, we'll fly 3-1-0 on the heading 8, 5, 1, 10, Bravo. Clear for takeoff, runway 3-1, fly 3-1-0 on the heading 8, 5, 1, 10, Bravo. Clear for takeoff, runway 3-1, fly 3-1-0 on the heading 8, 5, 1, Two 
this frequency. Special contact advised hotel.
Okay, yeah, that, that, the heading 285 uh, uh, looks... Uh, one time about heading 160. 160, one time about. We're 4 Kilo Yankee, going to block it down, 134.67. Over the towers, hold on, 5 Kilo Yankee. Charlie Brown with 207 with 24,000. 207, Miami approach, 80s Tango, square out for Lauderdale, they're landing east. Uh, and expect the runway. Uh, one zero left. So you know what? Next control will let you know what the one was expect. Bombers two zero seven fighting three two zero. Three two zero bombers two zero seven. Thank you. Got traffic here. One Tango Bravo five two one two zero seven local officer runway two Christian runway nine left and one thousand six hundred. Roger one two zero intercept the localizer at one thousand six hundred one Tango Bravo.
Once you do it a few times. 